Swiggity Swag, what's in the bag? Jay here bringing you guys some more Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon news. And today we got ourselves a brand new trailer showcasing some of the new features in these new games. And I'm going to go ahead and go over that with you guys, give you guys my thoughts on everything. And uh, maybe some speculation here and there about what is going to be in the game. But I hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you guys do, hit the like button down below to show your support. And in the comment section below, let me know what you guys think of these new features in Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. But... Let's go ahead and jump into this video and they start their video by announcing that the island challenge has returned. By the way, I'm going to be using screenshots instead of gameplay footage because of copyright purposes. So just let you guys know uh, about all of that. Anyways, the island challenge has returned. Now, this was pretty obvious in my opinion, considering the fact that Sun and Moon was all about the trials and whatnot. And so obviously the trials would return because it's still Sun and Moon, just ultra. That's all I'm saying. But anyways, back to the new that they announced uh, I'm really happy that they decided to announce the island challenge has returned because they may have revamped some of the trials as you can see here we have what looks like a Lima's trial um, at the very beginning of the game I'm not necessarily sure but then we also see a bunch of pseudo around so I'm not sure if that's still a Lima's trial or if that's someone else's trial that has been revamped or some uh, some way shape or form but it looks like Sophocles' trial has been revamped you guys can see the token tomorrow the charge bugs and you can also see the robotic Vicavolt now I don't even remember that robotic Vicavolt being in the regular Sun and Moon so I don't know I think they revamped his trial which means that they probably revamped everybody's trial which is really good because uh you know you got to have a little bit of revamp here and there and then we have a Cerola here somebody is screaming get out get out get out I don't know who it is I don't know I don't think it's a Cerola screaming that I think it's someone else screaming that I mean it would make sense if someone else was screaming that just because I mean she is a ghost type leader so she got to have some sort of creepy trial going on if you know what I mean but I don't know isn't it like doesn't she have the Mimikyu? Yeah, she has the Mimikyu trial. Oh, yeah, she has the Mimikyu trial, you guys. So, oh, boy, that's going to be a doozy, you guys. And then the infamous Lorantis has returned as well. But not just these returning trials. We also get a brand new trial, which is Mina. Now, if you guys remember Mina, she was in Sun and Moon, but we actually didn't really do her trial because she didn't necessarily care. She was really laid back and kind of a go with the flow type character and whatnot. So she was like, oh, yeah, here's your trial. But it's not really a trial, you know, because she just didn't really care. But now we actually get her trial in the game. She does give you the Ferium Z for the fairy type Z move as well so I can't I can't wait for her trial because she's a really cool character she she seems really chill she, she uh, seems really laid back and everything and it, get, you, it seems like you get the battler like a little bit earlier than expected I don't know I know you battled her like I think twice in Sun and Moon but I'm just glad that they actually like acknowledged Mina and she has a tr an actual trial now in the game so maybe we'll get a new trial leader as well this is where the speculation comes in now that we have Mina they're redoing Mina's trial would we get a new trial leader for let's say the dragon type Z crystal or uh, was there a psychic type leader I don't even think there was a psychic leader uh, no there wasn't there was normal there was water fire grass fairy ghost and electric so we still need like quote unquote trial captains for all the other types but obviously we're not going to get every single type as a uh trial captain but it would be cool if we got at least one more uh trial captain at least to make complete the eight you know what i'm saying because right now we only have seven uh trial captains so it'll be really cool it'd be really cool if we had eight you know i don't know that's just that's just me that's just how i feel about it but we also get to hear about lily and how now how's art on over on the right has me a little bit concerned now i'm concerned because if you guys remember how from sun and moon he was always happy he always smiled he was a, he was that happy go lucky guy but in this picture he has a frown and I don't know how I feel about that. That actually like worries me a little bit because how is like like he's sometimes serious, yes, but he's always smiling. So him not smiling is just really unnatural to me. I I don't know. But 
we see Lily uh, wanting to become stronger and whatnot, and then she screams, oh my goodness, I'm not sure why she's screaming, oh my goodness. Uh, maybe this scene was in the last games, I just can't remember, I don't know, to be completely honest, but hey, Lily has returned, this is Lily's Z uh, power uh, mode as well, so... I wonder if she's going to be like if, if this is her design throughout the entirety of the game rather than, you know, halfway through the game. Because if you guys remember when you meet her in the beginning, she has the hat and everything. And then she changes her clothes when she actually starts going out on her journey and she does her little Z power mode or whatever. But this is her Z power mode right now. So is this her art throughout the entire game? Is this her outfit throughout the entirety of the game? If so, hey, that's cool. That is cool. And then we also see how here as well. Uh, I guess encouraging us and whatnot. So shout out to you, how shout out, shout out to you. And then they also mentioned that we're gonna be getting more than 400 Pokemon. All right, you guys, more than 400 Pokemon. So Pokemon from past generations will obviously be in this game, which is really cool. I have a screenshot here of Larvesta just because I really would like to get a Larvesta in Sun and Moon. Just saying, you guys. That's that's all I'm saying. But hopefully we get some new Pokemon though, like. I would very much like to see new Pokemon in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Now, at first, I was like, uh, did I really want to see new Pokemon? I don't really care. But now that they introduced the, new, the two new Ultra Beasts, I really would like to see some sort of new Pokemon or some sort of new Alolan forms or something like that in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. I mean, if you're going to create these brand new Ultra Beasts, you might as well go big, go home and make new Alolan forms and make a few new Pokemon as well for the Alolan decks. Not only that, but we also get to see that Houndoom looks to be like an Ultra Sun exclusive and Man uh, Manectric is an Ultra Moon exclusive as well. So, I mean, I'm going to be picking up both games anyway, but I mean, if I had to choose between the two, I would rather go with Manectric just because I really like Manectric. So I wonder if their respective Mega Stones are going to be in each of the games as well. That, that's probably going to be the case considering they both Mega Evolve as well. But moving on into new features, they have the all new Alola photo club you guys now i personally don't really care about all of this but hey you get to take pictures and you can share them with your friends and stuff that's really cool i don't really care i don't i don't know i don't <laughs> i honestly just don't care about this feature at all you guys but the one feature that i am super freaking pumped for not even gonna lie is the man time surf yo like this looks really really good so essentially you surf between the islands of alola and you can do tricks in the air you guys you can do front flip left roll all of that and i really want to do this feature i really want to play this and try to get some sort of high score because these tricks look freaking dope this mode looks really really dope and i absolutely cannot wait for this at all you guys but let me know what you guys think of all this news and all these features down in the comment section below if you guys enjoyed this video leave a like down below as well but with that i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time peace